Hi there, Master of None here, and we've got another beer review for our Thirsty Thursdays. We've moved these beer reviews to Thursdays, so hopefully you can have a drink with us. And today, we have Sticky Puddles from Lapalin Brewing. Uh, they're out of Big Lake, Minnesota. This is Strawberry Rhubarb Imperial Sour Ale with strawberry, rhubarb, honey, cinnamon, and graham cracker flavors. Uh, a friend of mine had this um, at some kind of establishment somewhere. I don't know if it was a restaurant or bar or whatever, but he liked it enough that he had it special ordered into one of the area liquor stores. Uh, watch your step, Sticky Puddles Ahead, this heavily Heavenly Fruited, excuse me, it's a little, it's small print and I'm blind. Heavenly Fruited Imperial Sour Ale was crammed full of absurd amounts of strawberry, rhubarb, honey, cinnamon, and graham cracker flavors. The recommended glassware is a tulip. Not happening today. 9% uh, alcohol by volume, 7 IBUs, 7 on the SRM scale, and this is a pint. Now, this particular beer is a little spendy, but you know what, the price of all the craft beers has been going up recently, so what can you say? And let's pour this out into a glass and have a look at it. Could have went just slightly more aggressive on the pour than I did on that one. But there it is. It is strongly smelling of strawberry and rhubarb. I don't know if you can see my nice little Master of Lung, Master of None logo on that glass, but the wife did that. It's etched in there now. And yes, it's got some color to it. A strawberry looking, rhubarb looking beer there. It, uh, honestly, it smells like uh, opening up a jar of preserves, like some jam. That is exactly what it smells like. It's very, it's fruity. And like I said, it's like when you have a jar of jam. Here we go. Oh, man, that's a, it's a sour, but uh, there's uh, all kinds of sweetness from the strawberry. Um, I haven't had many beers from this particular brewery. Uh, the last one I had, I didn't particularly care for. Wow. This one is really good. I can't stop myself drinking it um typically I sours I can take take it or leave it not a huge fan uh, this particular one the the sweetness just completely balances out any sourness it's just balanced it's not cloyingly sweet it's not too sour Oh, another thing that would usually be a knock against it is I, I like I usually like my beers to taste a little more beer-like, beery than this. I'll say maybe I've just invented a word, coined a term. This 
It's it's 9% alcohol, but you wouldn't know it. This is uh, it tastes like something V8 would make or some naked juice or something like that. It tastes like some kind of fruit juice. Oh. You could uh, accidentally serve this to your kids. It is, it is, it's it's good though. It's. Uh, you can see particles of stuff kind of floating around in there. Like, I'm not going to say chunks of fruit, but it's very hazy. And it's pretty close to, pretty close to having like pieces of strawberry and rhubarb in there. I don't know about graham cracker. And even in the description, that kind of threw me for a little bit of a surprise I didn't honey there is sweetness there I don't know if I if I'm like mm, honey it's just there is definitely a sweetness there um sticky puddles it's like almost leaves a, a residue of like stickiness on your lips that is for sure oh um, well balanced, it's got that sweetness to it. Like I said, it's like sticky on my lips, but uh, the sourness in this case balances out that sweetness. I mean, it's just, they balance each other out uh, and really strongly, naturally seemingly flavored of strawberry and rhubarb. Oh, this, yeah, there's little chunks. I don't know if you can see them. There's little chunks of stuff floating around in this. It's pieces of strawberry, little flecks of the strawberry seeds or something. Oh, wow. I got a little caught up in that one. So if you see this, sticky puddles, lupulin, I don't know if you can, lupulin brewing. Excuse me, this is one that's worth uh, tracking down. Um, Really everything that it said on the can, just uh, extremely, extremely strawberry and, and rhubarb flavored. And, and like I said, uh, normally sours, not really my thing. Um, this one though is just exquisitely done. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things that are like that where, like when we did the, uh, no, I can't remember it. Um, the IPA from New Jersey. Six point. Resin. Uh, when we did that one, it's like IPAs. Normally you hear me complain, complain about them, but that was just an exceptional beer and it was great. This is an exceptional sour. It is just, they knocked it out of the park on this one. I'll probably be giving some more of their beers a try after this. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we will catch you on the next one.